Tony Petraka is here with me now. We aren't seeing anything like that here at home, and things are looking fine actually outside despite a few passing showers, right? Yeah, sure. It could be a lot worse. We don't have any uh, widespread rain, but you know, every now and then there's been like kind of a random shower. A little on the cool side, but we're going to warm things up starting uh, tomorrow afternoon. Take a look at Providence right now where the clouds are a little thicker and a little heavier, but we've been really going back and forth between clouds and sunshine. So, for example, it is gray in Providence, but we take you to a new Port Harbor. You got a little bit of sunshine coming through the cloud cover right now. Next roughly one to three hours that random shower can't be ruled out, but nothing more than that on the cool side. I mean, we should have topped out close to 68 degrees this time of year, and it's just it was generally in the mid to upper 50s all day, but we're closer to average tomorrow afternoon. 55 right now in Providence, New Bedford at 54. Just that stray shower passing through this evening. Nice sun Monday. Back to work, back to school, sunshine, temperatures topping out. Actually, mid to upper 60s and even warmer on Tuesday, getting the temperatures up into the lower 70s. So you see an occasional blip of green there and some, uh, some more activity dropping down from uh, Worcester County. This is all passing off to the south. And so again, we'll keep a random shower in the forecast. There's a weather disturbance. It's, it's actually in the upper part of the atmosphere and it's swinging through right now, but it moves away overnight. So we'll see gradual clearing late tonight. A chance, albeit a, a small chance of perhaps seeing the northern lights, but you gotta wait till later tonight as uh, we'll keep the cloud cover at least the first half of the night. Storms uh, across the deep south. This moisture really not a factor in our forecast, at least for the next couple of days. When we take you through it now into Wednesday, for example, here we are tomorrow afternoon, uh, mid to upper 60s with some sunshine. Move ahead to Tuesday, which is even milder, getting temperatures in the mid 70s, and then watching this moisture on the approach for midweek. This is our next chance for perhaps of some widespread rain, and that is slated for Wednesday. We're getting real close, and here we are tomorrow afternoon in the middle to upper 60s with mainly sunny skies, so much um, 10 degrees uh, milder than where we were this afternoon. For this evening, uh, now through about 8, 9 o'clock, an isolated passing shower. Not every community will catch one. If you do, it's got a shelf life of like 10 minutes, and then it's gone. 11 o'clock, 50. Let's see gradual clearing during the uh, overnight hours, and then here we are tomorrow tomorrow morning 6 a.m. at 50 by 11 a.m. 61. It's a beautiful day, mainly sunny, milder, a lot milder than today. And these temperatures actually closer to average, topping out in the upper 60s. Bay forecast on limited visibility, southwest 5 to 15, Augusta 20 knots, high tide, Newport Harbor at about uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. All right, seven day forecast shows the improving weather, both Monday and Tuesday, and a lot milder as well, bringing back some rain as early as Wednesday morning, catching a break by later Thursday. May start off damp Thursday morning, improving in the afternoon Friday looking good Saturday all right it's like six days away check back with us right <laughs> still still a ways away with the chance for some showers but looking good next couple of days we've had some bad luck on the weekends that's why we're celebrating so much today <laughs> that's it. yeah you know the timing has been tough I'm going to try to iron those wrinkles out this week all right thanks yeah. so much now in sports the